Since today is it'll be open when it is open. As you mentioned, PennDOT has already pushed back the opening of the Liberty Bridge twice. Now we've learned after the advice of an expert, they're scrapping all of those deadlines altogether. But we cannot continue to forecast dates for reopening at this time and raise expectations only to create disappointment like today. PennDOT's district chief apologizing to the 55,000 drivers who typically use the Liberty Bridge daily as he told us there's no more deadlines for when it might reopen. I asked him for at least a general time frame and here's what he said. We would say that it, it could be weeks. It won't be months. We watched today as workers brought in even more steel and ferried it out to barges under the bridge. PennDOT was hoping to have the job done by Monday. They've been trying to fix a 30 foot long piece of steel that twisted in the fire two weeks ago. But after bringing in more than a dozen experts last night, they decided they needed more time to add safety measures around that damaged piece for when they try to heat it up and stretch it back to its original form. Uh, our plan B, if the heat straightening doesn't work, is actually uh, cutting that damaged cord. Uh, and that is something that we're also engineering at the same time. Cutting it would actually be faster, but PennDOT says it likely would not be as strong as fixing the original. I asked if they're sure either way will actually get the bridge back in operation. Uh, we're confident that one, one or two of those plans will work. It's also important to note, even once PennDOT does get the bridge patched up, they'll still have to make a permanent fix, and that could take much more time later on down the road. Reporting live in the south side, Bob Hayes in Pittsburgh's Action News 4.